Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel, Seek the Soul that Truth Lies Within and we are here with the 351st day of a Godly Blessing where Supreme God Father is teaching us three main important things which Brahma or Father Adam had told before he left his physical body and became an angel and lived for the Supreme about or what we call it as Param Dham or Brahma Lok. So let's explore that. What does Baba say? In the title, he says, May you imbibe the sanskars of Father Brahma. Sanskars means habits of Father Brahma and thereby become a self-transformer and so a world transformer. The explanation goes like this. Father Brahma created in himself sanskars which he reminded all the children of in his final moments. Now we generally think that when people are at the end or on the deathbed or at the end of their last breath or they are dying which we think then we think that they have all returned back to God or most of them have gone to heaven and different religions have got different beliefs about them. But Godfather says there can only be one belief, only one truth. And he says, none of the souls have returned back to me yet. Why? Because none of the souls are pure enough to return back to me. Whenever a soul comes down on earth and it forgets that it he is a soul or she is a soul, that's the very moment the sanskars of body consciousness come in and souls start becoming impure. So what is body consciousness? Anybody who thinks of self other than a soul. If I think of myself as a Hindu or a Muslim or a Sikh or an Isai or an Indian or an American, that is also body consciousness. So that is a very basic thing. But that if there is, that is in the thought of any soul, it's an impure thought because that's a worldly thought and we're talking about getting liberation, liberation from these thoughts. And a soul can get liberation only when the thoughts are not of this world, but of Param Dham or supreme abode so god says none of the souls have returned back to me and even father brahma or adam has just returned to the middle area which is the angelic world he has also not returned back to the supreme abode so then god says he reminded all the children of in his final moments what did he remind first thing he reminded is to think incorporeal that means that we have to think that we are souls when we came on this earth we are just point of light just like it's shown over here all those who are listening to this or watching this on youtube they can see the picture behind me is a picture of how a soul looks like and how supreme god father looks like father and child look the same so father says always think of yourself as incorporeal if you think of yourself as a body then all the name all the titles will come across in your mind in your thoughts and they'll make you impure again become viceless. That means lust, anger, greed, ego attachment, jealousy, hatred, disdainment and many many negative, ne negative thoughts should be removed because that they make a soul heavy and become, it becomes difficult for a soul to go into liberation and egoless. So these three things is what Supreme God Father reminded us so as to move ahead on the path of godliness. These sanskars or these habits of Father Brahma are the natural sanskars of Brahmins. Now who are Brahmins? If Brahma means Adam, then Brahmins are the child, male child and the female child of Adam. So Brahma Kumar means a male child of Father Adam and Brahma Kumari means a female child of Father Adam. So Always keep these elevated sanskars or habits in front of you. That means the soul who is in a male body or a, in a female body. They are all both children of Supreme Godfather. But when you look at them on a physical basis, then they become children of physical great 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 grandfather Adam or Brahma. So they are two different things. So I am a soul. I am a child of Supreme Father, Godfather. But thinking of myself as a physical body, then I am a child of Brahma or Adam. So God wants us to copy or follow the first creation of God, that is Father Brahma, and become incorporeal, think thoughts of vicelessness, and become egoless. Then Supreme Father says, throughout the day, while performing every action, check, 
have all the sanskars emerge that means when you're talking to somebody when you're talking about somebody when you're thinking of something when you're thinking of doing something are you egoless are you voiceless are you thinking incorporeal because when you're thinking incorporeal then you won't have desires and greed of anything and you'll be voiceless automatically and you'll be egoless automatically so check have all these sanskars emerged by imbibing these sanskars you will become a self transformer and so a world transformer so first i have to change and looking at me the world around me will change so these three things are taught in depth at brahma kumari's college special university for more details about these three aspects which need to be imbibed in the form of habits you may visit brahma kumari college special university which might be there in your city i'm sure about that or could be next door to you have a blessed good night and om shanti mm-hmm.